What's up with everybody? First and foremost, I want to say thank you uh, to Gravity Takeout uh, for shouting me out last night. I uh, seen that video, Waking Up Today, man. I uh, appreciate that. I uh, really do. Uh, to all the new subscribers, thank you for coming over here, tuning in, and checking out some of this content that I got for you. Um, I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody. Gravity Takeout, God bless you, brother. Um, <clears throat> uh, with him shouting me out, I seen, uh, I seen, I came across some content he had in it. Well, he didn't have the content in there, but he spoke about Baba Rashawn and uh, what Cynthia G actually had to say uh, to Baba Rashawn. So in that, I shot over to Cynthia G's page because I seen her, I seen that video, but she was live while I was creating my video on her. You see what I'm saying? So today, I just actually just just a moment ago, I had the chance to actually check out what she was saying, some of the stuff that they was talking about about uh one of the elders in our community about some of the you know what i'm saying the older people that in, in our community and today we're gonna dive in on some of the crazy ridiculous things that these women say <laughs> like this disrespect right here has been it's been taken to a whole different level when you get to talking about somebody dying <laughs> you took you took it to a whole another level we're gonna get right into it in just a moment ladies and gentlemen now like you should already know it's your boy text god while you rolling in and while we getting started go ahead and smash that like button for me so we can get this video out as to many people as we can this is text god tv here we preach and we teach hope not dope we try to inspire and motivate as many hope dealers as possible and try to rid the world as, as many dope dealers as possible let's bring y'all over to the side of the fence see if we can't help some of these young kings and queens out here with a positive message and bring each other together man try to build this culture up hey look like i said man they came with so much disrespect that i had no choice but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and shoot shots at you right now cynthia g this is this is what i see you as right here baby check this out right here. But that's not it. That's not it. What is this? Somebody be telling me. You gotta huh, huh, hit them all. Won't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all want to do my man Baba Rashad like that, baby? That's how I look at you. You one of them black queens. You get drunk and you and you talk crazy shit to your mans and then you put the nigga in jail when you know what I'm saying when he snap on you I'm just looking at you I was looking at the picture of my boy gravity take out put it let me let me go ahead and put it up here right there this one right here you looking mad suspect mad crazy you look like the chick like I, I wouldn't even want to talk to in the party that's why I, I see why you mad at black men that's why you mad at black men because niggas don't really want to fuck with you niggas niggas ain't really giving you that time of day uh I seen what Bob I said. I, I see you have I ha you have a son? I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? I just came across your videos not too long ago and uh listening to this disrespect that you've been spilling on black men is just it's crazy. But you have a black son though. So what do you expect him to be when he grow up? How do you expect to raise him? Are you hating <clears throat> are you hating him right now? Are you hating your son? Do you have any type of dislove to your son? Somebody got to watch you, man. Somebody got to keep a, a, a close eye on you, man, and have children's services around just in case you over there beating on that young black boy. That's that's crazy. Or talking to that young black boy and, 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 and putting him down and making him feel like if your son listen to your videos, how do you think your son is going to grow up? Insecure, feeling like he ain't shit. That's how you want him to feel about himself? Thinking that he's low value, that he has no worth in this world, that dogs matter more than him. Because I get what you're saying. You're saying dogs matter more. you talking about Bob Rashawn ain't really going to debunk your shit. Man, you know what? What? What you playing off Michael Vick situation when he went to jail over some dogs? I mean, what? What? Man, you sick over there, man. And when y'all got the disrespect in this, this older man, one of our elders, one of the people we should be looking up and talking to with respect and trying to find some understanding instead of coming at him and explaining what you mean, 
since you feel he doesn't know what you mean, instead of coming at that man and explaining what you mean or creating a video explaining what you mean, you d d disrespect this man? The first thing y'all go to is calling people out of their names. Instead of coming with truth and facts and, and analytics and statistics, y'all come out and want to disrespect this man, talk about his teeth, and he missing teeth. He's an older man. Bitch, you going to be missing teeth. I know black women that miss this missing teeth right now. What are you talking about, man? Eventually, your teeth deteriorate and you get as you get older and you got to get foster teeth or whatever you got to do. What are you talking about? My great-grandmother had foster teeth. But y'all went so far to say, man, this man will be dead soon. Who says, who says these type of things, but you're talking about he should be uplifting or, or trying to uplift and enlighten the black men on the bad things that we do. Not all black men do bad things, and that's what he's speaking of. The way you uh, general generalizing all of us and putting this in one group. Man. Y'all trying to talk about it like it's it's the black men that don't want to be married. We want to be married. We want to get married. We want families. I know men, I have friends that have families that's been together for years on top of years on top of years. What are you talking about, man? I want, I'm want. i going to get married soon. I'm, I'm looking. And when I find that one, because I'm taking my time this time, I'm not making mistakes like I did in the past picking the wrong women. And y'all mad at black men for trying to avoid the mistakes that they made and they might not want you because they see the red flags. They like, damn, nah, this, this look like something I had in the past. I don't want that. I'm moving on from that. I have a little fun with you. We can fuck. We can have fun. I'll take you out to eat. I court you for a little bit, but you're not what I want as my wife. And it's pissing a lot of you women off. And then you get pissed when, when a black man does get a white woman. So if he's not valued just because that white woman is with, just because if he's not that valuable, why is that white woman with him? You say it's just to steal everything he's got, but I've seen white women that, like, you know what I'm saying? Glorify they black men. Like, not all white women are getting with black men for the bag. I see white men, women with black men every day, regular lives, with don't have nothing. <laughs> man, it's just crazy, man, how you can disrespect somebody at that age the way that the way you talking about them and talking about that he doesn't have too many tomorrows he doesn't have more tomorrows than he has yesterday's like are you wishing are you wishing and promoting death on somebody just because they called you out about some things that you said that are necessarily not right you always try to to your audience you always try to say these things are facts this is something that we can prove no it's not some shit you can prove prove it then prove it you say black men are dusty, we can't read, we come from dirt, but we y'all couldn't come from our ribs. You use the Bible how you want to use it when you can. Oh, black men came from dust, but y'all couldn't have came from our ribs. How can one of these impossible, either one of these impossible things be true then? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Y'all are wishing death on this, man. Let me tell you something about black love. My great-grandmother and my great-grandmother, I mean, my great-grandmother and my great-grandfather, they were together since they were in high school. And you saying this man doesn't have a voice, it doesn't have an opinion, or what he's saying doesn't hold weight. I would rather listen to that old man. Baba Rashawn, I don't mean to call you old man. S salute, Baba Rashawn. If you watch this, salute out, shout out to you, brother. Much love and respect to you and your channel. Um, but I would rather listen to somebody at that age that was closer to, to a generation that was actually in love and about love and about loving each other and caring for each other. I'm going to tell you a story about my great-grandmother and grandfather. Sure, I used to go out there every summer. I got, to, I got to see the perfect example of what black love was and taking care of a household and, and the family love going out. Everybody loved going out there everybody would take a trip so you know what every summer i would be there because everybody's visiting my grandmother and grandfather they got the house is they got so many bedrooms you know what i'm saying everybody could pick a room a room whatever room they wanted 
So I used to stay there in the summertime. He taught me how to be a man, how to cut grass, how to use a rod lure, how to use a push lure, how to go fishing, how to feed myself when I didn't have no money, if I didn't have no money. He taught me these things as a young boy. I'm getting into this story because you're saying that this this older man doesn't have any advice or have anything or opinion for people to, to gain any substance off of, and you're calling it a trash bag logic, and, it, and his opinion doesn't mean nothing, but yours means the world. But anyway, let's get back to it. My great-grandfather taught me all of these valuable things, but he also taught me family was a key, a key component in your life. And having family around and sharing and showing love and Thanksgivings and Christmas, everybody came there. Nobody missed it. And if you did miss it, you were getting questioned about it. Well, why why y'all didn't come? Because we were, they would roast whole pigs and have cookouts and barbecues on Christmases and Thanksgivings. You know what I'm saying? Big holidays like that. And that's when we came together because we weren't together most of the times out of the year. But I watched them argue one day. It was early in the morning, they were arguing. They was, they was, oh, it was a heated argument. I mean, man, <clears throat> my grandmother cussing him out. He's saying, you old son of a da da da, you son of a bitch, and this and that, and all they cussing each other out. But this is where I know black men are still gold and are still kings and still have hearts of gold and still want real love out here. My great grandfather, this is how he can still an emotional value and, and, and for me to look at myself even and, and, and like come closer to my feelings and how I feel and not be afraid of my feelings and my emotions and the way I should love somebody he came out after the argument he, I just I just seen him just he just start crying silently a silent cry it was just rolling down his and then he told her he said I want you to know that I love you I love you with all my heart, and I don't never want to lose you. We've been together so long, I, I, would, I would die if I lose you. She said the same thing, I would die if I lose you. And I love you too, baby. This is real black love. This is this is the older people that you talking about don't have a voice and opinion, and it's, it's all dusty. These, these are people that you talking about that got this same type of heart, the same type of love for they they... they they, they love ones, you know what I'm saying? They same culture. They brothers and they sisters. But they sitting here and they crying together now at this table telling each other how much they love each other. And he said, you know what he said? He said, I can drive. You can't drive. He said, baby, you can read. I can't read. And you talk about black men and about them not being able to read because black men were putting in the physical labor. Black men were putting in the physical labor out there fixing cars, tending the fields uh, with the livestock. They didn't have time to learn how to read. They were tired at the end of the day. So in return, when the women were still at the homes, they had a, a way, they had time to actually read and learn how to read. While you sitting here trying to play the black man, do your homework, you gotta understand where this stems from. So while the woman was at home cooking and taking care of the children and making sure when that man came in, the bath water and everything was ran, like a household is supposed to be, when he comes in tired, he's comfortable. He doesn't have to read, she can read to him. While he's doing all the other things to take care of home. <clears throat> Just listen to that. I can drive, you can't drive. And now you women can drive. You see what I'm saying? The difference is, these young men are still having generational problems of learning how to read. And then it doesn't just stem from the men and, and having the same brain or DNA as them. It stems from our mothers having to drive and go to work and do all of these things too. Because 2021 is different than 1960 or 19 whenever when a woman could sit at home. 2021, a regular income, a regular household needs two incomes to survive these days. So they're putting our woman to work and they're not able to connect and teach and educate our black children like they used to be. A woman just wasn't a woman in the home. She in cooked and cleaned. She was a teacher too. She was a, a home teacher. It was like homeschool and they actually sat down and they did the homework with their kids. They don't like, oh, I don't know that you had to, or this, or ask your brother and sister to help. Or you, That's what you guys do nowadays because we do not have the time. 
You have to go to work. The man has to go to work. We got to pay these bills. This is just what it is. The world is faster now. And one income doesn't take care of one household just now, just like it used to nowadays. So while she was at home taking care of home, she was learning how to read. She was learning how to go fill out the, the prescriptions so my grandfather and her can get their medication or read the mail that comes in the mail. They were working as a team. And all y'all want to do is bash the black men instead of uplift it like the black women did back in the day. They didn't bash their black men. And we didn't let our black women fall. We created a space to where we can take us out of poverty and try to get us from struggling. And we're, we're getting there. This shit can't change in one day. Then you got a chick on there talking about uh, all men are dusties and this and that. They come from dust. From the dust, that's where they shall return. And all of this black girl magic talk that I guess she got going on. You can tell that chick to shut up. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Please. She's talking about women. They, we all know black women have been the leaders for black men and guiding them and helping them and advising them and assisting them along the way. Where? What have black women done to help anything in the community? Let's get to this. Where? I haven't seen a black woman. Well, I'm not saying it's not out there. But when I get to thinking about things like the music industry, when I think about people like P. Diddy, people like Jay-Z, people like Rick Ross, people like Gil Gotti, people like Gucci, all of these black men that are signing and helping young black men realize their dreams. I haven't seen the city girls sign a group of young black women and put them out into the public. I haven't seen Megan Thee Stallion sign a young woman under her and put her out to the public. I haven't seen Nicki Minaj sign another young woman and put her out to the world. What? What do you mean? They'll jump on each other's tracks, but it's purely for competition. Black women are in competition with other black women. And now they're in competition with black men, so black women feel alone. Think about that for a second. You are creating enemies on your side of the fence and on our side of the fence. Because as much as you think all of these black women uh, value your opinion, there's another group of, of black women or women in general, genu general that want to see a man put you in your place because you're talking bullshit and you're talking rubbish. It's a lot of women who like Kev Kevin Samuels and dislike you and women like you because all they do is try to tear down black men. There are a group of women that honor and value their men. Not everybody's opinion is like yours. And to be honest with you, there's a mass majority that is not. I don't get what you're saying. What artist does Megan Thee Stallion have? I know who Rick Ross has. I know who Jay-Z has. What, what artist? This is not, no pun intended, no pun intended. What artist does Nicki Minaj have? No pun intended. Nicki Minaj, I love you. Megan, you got some good knees. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with everything in your music because uh, you're teaching some of these women some of the same things that this black woman is speaking of. And it's, it's not necessarily right to be what's going out here into these young ladies and these young queens' ears. That's not what they want, should be hearing about somebody's bag and twerking and on somebody's yacht and sucking and fucking for money. That is not what I want my daughter to hear and be. So, where did y'all lead us to? If y'all been leading us and guiding us this whole time, why are we here at, in this situation that we are in now? 
please explain that to me. When you got an answer for that, let me know. Since you've been leading and guiding black men for so long, why did you trick us and guide us into failure so you can talk about us all day since you've been leading and guiding us for so long? Why are we here now, black women? And this is not to all black women. I don't generalize. I'm not generalizing all black women. I know there are black queens. I speak and I talk to black queens. I do not speak to women like you with this frail mind frame that has no backbone in it. No meat and no substance to your message. It's just strictly to tear down your black brother. But you know what? I love my black queens, but I will not tolerate this disrespect and this type of opinionated whatever that you're putting on lost black girls. Fuck all of that. Every day I'm at it. Every day you talk about like, about black men, I'm on your ass. I ain't gonna quit. I ain't gonna let up. I will not let up. Hey man, peace, love, and happiness. Shout out Gravity Takeout. Hey, shout out Baba Rashawn. Hey man, salute to you, brother. Hey, if you was here, it's because you was meant to be here. One thing I know for sure, if you he was here and you he was meant to be here, that means you care. So if you care, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, and share this on all platforms. Let's get this positive message heard, man. Let's do this the right way. Peace.